Welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you how to do plan printing and this is going to be to show you the top view looking down for your floor plan. So I've gone up to print. I'm going to choose a template. I'm going to remove the image in the corner. So that's a blank area. I'm going to go up and I'm going to now bring in the 3D view. So I'll drag it across. There's my 3D black and white view. Double click on it so that you've highlighted. So all your little icons at the top appear. Go to viewpoints, go to top view. It's going to ask you a cutting point. Make this lower than your ceiling. And then you'll actually see your uh, layout from the top view. Now I'm going to layers. And in layers, you can turn off certain things, or what you're going to see me do now is by clicking on the little white box. So you see there, I've removed it just to show you. Bring it back, and they come back. Now, if I click on the little white box, I can give these a texture so that they stand out. So there's the fridge and the sink with the texture. Now I'm going to go down, I'm going to do my top cupboards. So the kitchen up units, I'm going to give that a texture. And you'll see that now my top cupboards are different from my bottom cupboards. Once you've done that, we can position it where we want it by dragging it across with the mouse. Now I'm going to go down, I'm going to set up how I want my lines to be generated. What I'm going to do on this, you can adjust different elements. So if you have a look on the right hand side, I'm going down and I'm going to just change this one to no. There. And now I'm going to go down and I'm now going to change my font. I'm going to take it from the courier and I'm going to make it the door. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. It makes it easier to actually fit in all the uh, information. If I hit default down here, it's going to keep those settings now forever. I don't have to go back in and keep changing it. Now I'm going to choose the second tool down here, which is the continuous dot dimensions. And by clicking, you'll see a red little dot will appear. I'm just going to click onto each area where each cabinet is on the back of each cabinet and on the wall. And then I click and then I drag out and there's my measurements, 70, 400, 600, 900. Go back to the tool, continuous, and drag it. Now I'm just gonna do the whole wall. Click, drag out, 197, there we go. Go back again to the continuous. This is just so we have a measurement for the bottom units. So whichever way around you want it, the bottom and the top units and the wall. Now we're going to do the top wall, including the window. Then using the continuous tool, I'm going to go the other way, and this time I'm actually measuring the carcasses. And I've got 900, 1100, 900. Again with the continuous tool, I'm going to do the other wall. 2300 and here between the fridge and the cupboard there's a 20 mil gap so I've allowed for that as well so now you can see the 20 mil gap I 
I'm going to use continuous again and I'm going to just measure right across. That's highlighting where the uh, handle of the fridge is. Pull that down. There you go. That's all our measurements. And for our top unit, I just want to show the width of that, or the depth, and I'm going to pull that out to 350. I'm now going to click the selection tool. And I want to make this a bit smaller. I want to add some new things to the actual document. So by dragging it up and letting go, everything moves smaller. Let's just drag it a little bit. There we are. And I actually want that line inside over there. So I'm going to just redo that one quickly. Continuous. Clicking on it, I can drag it and move it into the area where I want it. And if I don't want the outline, I can click on the right hand side and say no. And now the outline is gone. Now we're going to go in and we're going to set up um, a key for this. It's going to give us a breakdown of all the cabinets and information inside the drawing. Finish. And I'm literally just going to drag it. There it go. And now what we've got is we've got all the information of everything that's inside the, the drawing. I'm going to click on the two dots at the top. I'm going to say OK. And now it's going to put numbers to each of the items. So on the side, the item numbers reflect in the drawing. I can still go one further. I can actually do a proper itemized item uh, list for the fitter by pressing the M, say OK. Again, you just drag it down into the area you want it. OK, and when I let go, click, it breaks down all the information about that kitchen. Any more materials, what the top is, everything, edging, everything. Now, what I did, I just clicked on the bottom where it said ambiente. I actually clicked on that and just dragged into my print area and it brought the image from our 3D into the drawing. And by doing that, you can even show an image of the floor plan with all the information. I hope this video has helped. Thank you.